trade, for business, for investment, is people-to-people -people relations. Today, I am not very sure, other than athletics, a lot of Colombian people know what Kenya has to offer. And if you ask many Kenyans how they know about uh, Colombia, they will tell you they know about football, they used to watch the likes of Asprilla and Higuita. They, a few of them, they also know that Shakira is from Colombia. <laughs> but now, with this growing relationship now, we want to have our people understanding what Kenya has to offer, the warm people we have, the very educated, very friendly people we have, and the great people of Colombia. So that when we build a people-to-people -people platform, it will grow into a business-to-business -business platform and ultimately a government-to-government -government very close relationship. With those few remarks, let me take this uh, opportunity to welcome you to Kenya and tell you that Kenya is indeed open for business. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, with much appreciation to Honorable Moses Kuria, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry for Investment, Trade and Industry of the Republic of Kenya, I would now like to take this opportunity to invite Honorable Arturo Bravo, Vice Minister of Tourism of the Republic of Colombia. You are most welcome. Buenas tardes para todos y para todas, honorables excelencias, vicepresidentes de la República de Kenia y de Colombia, respetados delegados de gobierno de Colombia y de Kenia, estimados representantes de las cámaras de comercio, señoras y señores empresarios, los líderes académicos, artistas, líderes sociales, congresista, Dorina, muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Eh, los representantes de los medios de comunicación, señoras y señores, muchas gracias por estar aquí. Para mí es un honor estar en Nairobi. ¿Quién lo iba a imaginar? Dice que vamos a estar aquí en Kenia. En la inauguración de este foro empresarial entre los dos países. Este encuentro representa una oportunidad única para explorar las importantes oportunidades comerciales de inversión y de turismo que existen entre nuestros países. Colombia y Kenia comparten similitudes geográficas, sociales, culturales y económicas que permiten trabajar juntos en proyectos estratégicos y potenciar nuestras relaciones comerciales, culturales y turísticas. Es importante destacar de este foro el trabajo conjunto que se ha hecho entre el sector público y el sector privado y particularmente de los gremios empresariales aquí presentes y creo que eso es fundamental para garantizar el éxito de estas relaciones bilaterales. Porque estamos convencidos desde el gobierno nacional, desde este gobierno del cambio, que solo a través de un enfoque colaborativo del trabajo entre todos podemos lograr un crecimiento sostenible y crear oportunidades para nuestras empresas y ciudadanos, para nuestros países. Es por eso que hoy, en el marco de este foro empresarial, estamos anunciando nuevos instrumentos de cooperación con Kenia que sus excelencias suscribieron esta mañana y con los equipos de gobierno estamos seguros que nos van a permitir avanzar en áreas de cooperación estratégicas como lo son el turismo, la reindustrialización y particularmente en un sector que es de interés para ambos países como el agroindustria y la búsqueda de la soberanía alimentaria, también en materia de inversión sostenible y del comercio exterior. Me refiero a estos particularmente que son los acuerdos de tipo económico que en un foro de esta naturaleza hay que resaltar, sin embargo, como ya se ha expresado nuestra cooperación, se está extendiendo en otras áreas de oportunidad conjunta. Como viceministro de Turismo, tengo que referirme en este foro a la 
refer to the importance of tourism in both our countries. Both our countries have a lot to offer to the world for tourism. Kenya is undoubtedly a world-renowned tourist destination, thanks to your fauna, flora, beautiful beaches, and of course for being a world reference of green tourism and natural tourism. Colombia also has a very diverse touristic offer, which includes many varieties of tourism natural tourism, conservation, biodiversity tourism, but also adventure tourism and business tourism, such as those forums which are quite frequent in Colombia, business tourism, with the different international conferences that we organize in our country. Colombia has been one of the few countries that was able to recover in terms of uh, tourism after the pandemic, reaching 4.6 million travelers um, who came to Colombia in 2022. It is now the first service export sector in our country. This government of change, therefore, has truly established an objective in this field which is very ambitious. And this is where we believe that we can work together in order to strengthen our green and community tourism because we really want to develop tourism with a social approach, tourism that is in accordance with the development and support of life. We know that Kenya has done a lot to generate high value tourism that allows tourism and tourists to enjoy your beautiful national parks and natural reserves and see the fauna in their natural habitat. And we have a lot to learn on that front. Colombia can also contribute to the diversification of this um, tourism that is on offer, different products on offer, as well as touristic services, gastronomy, hospitality business, and a value chain that has become ever more specialized in Colombia. For those of you uh, from the Colombian, uh, from the Kenyan government, sorry, who have come to Colombia, you know that uh, Colombia is working very strongly to consolidate this uh, offer for tourism. The national government also wishes to work on reindustrialization. Kenya and Colombia share a wonderful opportunity to explore joint projects. In Colombia, for example, the manufacturing sector is considered one of the um, drivers of the growth of our country. And in Kenya, the manufacturing industry represents about 10% of GDP. Many lessons learned to share. We can work together on projects of industrial growth in both countries, focusing specifically on non-mining sector because both our governments are committed to adapt and launch energy transition processes that would allow us to make the most out of our natural capital. As regards trade, it's important to know that Kenya is one of the main trade partners of Colombia and Africa, and we have been accelerating our trade exchange. And according to the numbers that we have, it's uh, um, over uh, half a million dollars of trade. But this is nonetheless a great opportunity for investment in fields such as agriculture, energy, technology. And uh, in Colombia, as uh, the minister was saying, we have a um, program of free trade areas inside our country that facilitates foreign investment. So clearly, Colombia becomes a, a port of entry for Kenya towards the um, continent, not only for commercial, but also for diplomatic ties in a south-south dynamic. This forum represents a great opportunity, a unique opportunity to make progress on economic and commercial cooperation between our countries. I am sure that thanks to the work that we will do jointly between the private and public sectors, we will be able to 
open this trail towards economic growth and development in our country. Thank you so much to the people of Kenya for your hospitality. And uh, I hope that the result of this forum will be very positive for all. Thank you. Uh, muchas gracias por tus comentarios. Uh, Thank you for your comments. ...to us this afternoon, and that was um, Honorable Arturo Bravo, a Vice Minister for Tourism, Republic of Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now uh, getting to the core of our program, and I would like to us to be upstanding, because I would now like to call upon His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa, to come and address us. Please let's welcome him with a round of applause. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Your Excellency. Present, senior government officials, leaders of business membership organizations from our two countries, the captains of industry, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to join you and my colleague, the Vice President of Colombia, at this afternoon's Business Summit, a unique event bringing together the policymakers, trade facilitators, the private sector of our two countries, with a view of fostering bilateral trade and investment relations between Kenya and Colombia. Permit me also to thank the organizers for putting together this event and the business community, particularly the Colombians, for traveling all the way to meet with us as government and their Kenyan counterparts. I'm certain this is the first among the many such forums that will be organized in advancing our economic ties. The government of Kenya appreciates and acknowledges the cordial relations that exist between the Republic of Kenya and the Republic of Colombia. We have today held very constructive bilateral talks with my counterpart with the aim of raising government to government engagements in the knowledge that such collaboration has been missing in the past. Allow me to appreciate the efforts of the leadership of the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and the Bogota Chamber of Commerce who, in 2017, began exploring ways to promote private sector engagements to harness the business and investment potential between our two countries. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya values partnerships that are mutually beneficial born out of common ideals, which is why we, have, we are also proud to be part of a community with our neighbors, the East African community, COMESA, African continent of free trade, upon our shared desire to achieve economic prosperity for our citizens. We need new and different approaches to partnerships that cut across traditional barriers and geographical boundaries to thrive. This is because increasingly, there is growing interest in the region as a single market by investors. We also take note of Colombia's leadership in sectors that are of mutual interest to both countries. These include technology-driven manufacturing, tourism, agro-processing, including coffee. This provides several opportunities for mutual exploration. We have significant opportunities for joint strategies to advance both Colombian and Kenyan coffee production, value addition and market access. Both countries are renowned for their coffee production and it is possible for investments in creating hybrid blades 
and packaging to be done in Kenyan export processing zones to take advantage of Kenya's preferential market access in several large coffee markets. This may be said of Colombia's access to the growing Caribbean market. We also take note of our two countries' investment in innovation and technological exchange. While Kenya's innovation culture is now a major driver for the domestic economy, we acknowledge that in Colombia, technology is also now a driver for your export performance. We invite Colombian technology companies to establish in Kenya as a route to market to the rest of the African continent. We have, bound, we have boundless capacity in the technology and innovation sector that would provide an excellent environment for Colombian investment. Your Excellency, we note that manufacturing is providing mutual opportunities for both countries. Kenya exports significant amounts of textiles to Colombia. Equally, Colombia's leading export to Kenya is equipment for food manufacturing. To deepen this mutually beneficial relationship, we invite Colombian companies to consider investing in our special economic zones for food production and textiles going forward. Our private sector will equally be keen to explore opportunities for investment in Colombia. Untapped opportunities exist in the blue economy, such as inland maritime transport, which can support and facilitate regional trade, alternative green energy from tidal waves, building and improving of the infrastructure that supports tourism and development of the business of sport, which has the potential to offer employment to thousands of youths across the region. Your Excellency, the possibilities for this relationship are boundless. Cooperation for SME development, development of manufactured products in chemicals and pharmaceuticals are examples of other areas of deeper cooperation that Kenya and Colombia can mutually invest in for further trade development. My remarks today will not be complete unless I speak another sector of mutual interest and immense possibility for cooperation. This is renewable energy. Both Kenya and Colombia have rich renewable energy resources. Kenya is a global leader in geothermal energy, while Colombia has significant potential in hydropower. We see great opportunities for knowledge exchange, technical cooperation, and investment in the renewable energy sector. Collaboration in, the field, in this field can contribute to sustainable development mitigate climate change, and enhance energy security for both our nations. As I conclude, we are also mindful of the fact that we need to take measures to improve the ease of trading between us. One such area is that of direct flights between Colombia and Kenya. It is estimated that flights between the two countries take close to 24 hours. A direct flight is estimated to take six hours and can significantly reduce the route to market and cost for both countries. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is open and safe for business and remains an ideal trade and investment destination. Equally, we are interested in opportunities in Colombia and we see this as a beginning of a mutual benefit relationship. Finally, Your Excellency, I wish to affirm my commitment and that of the government of Kenya to work closely with Your Excellency and the Government of Colombia on matters of mutual benefit to our two countries. Your Excellency, I now wish to invite you to come and make your remarks, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, Deputy President, Good 
good afternoon, as well as to the, uh, of the Minister of, of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Kuria. Greetings as well to the President of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Kenya, Mr. Gathia. Greetings as well to uh, the members of the delegation of Colombia who are here with us, business leaders, men and women from Kenya and Colombia, chambers of commerce, and especially the Bogota Chamber of Commerce, which uh, has worked enormously to help us put together such an important forum between Colombia and Kenya. As you rightly pointed out, Deputy Minister, the opportunities for commercial exchange between Colombia and Kenya are huge. We've already had a couple of experiences in trade. We have Colombian companies exporting to Kenya, especially in the food sector. And Kenya is a country that therefore, little by little, was able to know a bit more about the products that uh, Colombia has to offer. But this is really just a small seed something that's still quite limited. And of course, these encounters and South-South cooperation meetings should allow us to strengthen those trade relations in different sectors. For Colombia and for Kenya, a joint objective is, or shared objective rather, is food security and food sovereignty. We have a lot to share, science and technology for agricultural development to develop food sovereignty, which is essential in both countries. As we both have uh, citizens, especially boys and girls who are still suffering from hunger, Trade should help us bring solution to human needs. If trade does not allow us to satisfy our needs and guarantee access to rights for humanity, then trade is failing. Secondly, as you mentioned, we wish to strengthen these trade relationships through fair balanced, equitable trade in order to allow for the distribution of wealth and capital and bridge the gaps. And this is part of our priorities. This is why we have many programs and projects that we wish to explore for trade such as the development of scientific knowledge in health in order to commercialize goods and services, guaranteeing the right to health as a fundamental right. This is and undoubtedly strengthening our economic and commercial relations should help us dignify labor rights of workers, be they men or women. This is why in Colombia we are pushing at the moment a labor reform in order to dignify the conditions of all workers, men and women, in our country. These are fundamental conditions that we require 
to truly put together within a commercial exchange between two sister nations that have a lot of history in common. Climate change has put forth huge challenges. In Latin America, the Caribbean, and Africa are fundamental regions where work can be done to tackle these challenges. We know the experience of Kenya in terms of the production of clean energy, sustainable energy. This knowledge and this experience is fundamental to face the challenges that the Colombian government is looking at in terms of uh, green energy transition and decarbonization. Together, we have decided to support the proposals of uh, President Petro looking at foreign debt swap in exchange for climate action. This should help us accelerate the industrialization of clean and sustainable economies, economies that are put at the service of life. Tourism, as we well know, is a key sector. Your pioneers in sustainable tourism, community tourism, and I wish to acknowledge, and I had actual, actually said that before, but I want to acknowledge the economic value that Kenya gives to sustainable tourism practices and green tourism practices, understanding that, for example, safaris are a wonderful way of finding out more about the practices, traditions, and current reality of the Kenyan people. And this is something that we should implement in Colombia too, considering that we're one of the most biodiverse countries in the world and that this experience of sustainable green community tourism is fundamental for the economic strengthening of both our nations. So I think most topics have been mentioned thus far, but this clearly will not be possible without strengthening international connections, which is why we have signed a memorandum of understanding in order to start working on a better airline connection between Kenya and Colombia. We've also proposed that to South Africa because we would like to make sure that Latin America is better connected with the African continent. No more isolation. The era of separation that lasted for so long needs to come to an end. We must be able to reach this continent and this country easily and vice versa. Tourism is another topic, and if we wish to strengthen this collaboration in tourism, we must be connected so that Colombians can come here, discover all the beauty of this nation, and vice versa. That you may visit our country and all the beauty that we have been endowed with. But to this end, we must work together. And this is what we said this morning. And we must also, therefore, ease the visa process. We can hopefully one day reach an agreement whereby we mutually exempt our citizens from visas so that our citizens can freely travel from one country to another. So I just wanted to say thank you for allowing us to come to our motherland, the land of our ancestors. Thank you, 
sisters and brothers for your generosity, the generosity with which you are hosting us here. We are full of emotion and happiness in our hearts because we know that what we have agreed on will be used to foster the well-being of both our nation. Long live Kenya and long live Colombia. You are seeing being uh, put uh, in front of us is because